Kevin Robinson live for us. Kevin, thanks so much for the update on the forecast. So two things that we were watching this week and concerned about that could impact the marathon. And that was the rain, which luckily that's moved out of here for today. But as Kevin was saying, also the heat. And just now the race uh, officials have declared this a red flag. Doug Olberding is on the board. Doug, explain to us what exactly that means and how often this has happened. Well, so there's a, a warning system that, that we use that it's standard in the industry. Green flag means everything is go. Yellow is use caution. Um, and, and a red flag is when the, there's extreme heat. So and it's drink plenty of water, slow down, slow your pace down, um, and it, it's use extreme caution while you're out on the course. And so we've had to do this once before. I believe it might have been in 2010 or 2011 where we had a really warm day and we had to red flag the course. Um, but we have a system out there. We have cyclists who are out on the course. We have all of our aid stations, uh, more than 26 aid stations. So each of those stations will be flat. We'll, we'll put up the red flag. So as runners go by, they see this. And, and we can communicate this um, to our runners ahead of the event, you know, so they know uh, how the warning system works and to take appropriate steps when the, it changes. So, Doug, as we're watching Olivia Anger here on the right side of the screen on the uh, lead female side and Jason Sawyer over there for the men, these folks, though, you're talking about the red flag is for the majority of people. Yep. And I know it's hot for them, for the you know marathoners as well who are seasoned, mm -hmm. but they train in extreme heat at times. So for somebody like this who's out in front of the pack, you're not as concerned for them. You're concerned for the for the average person who's out here just running for the first time or, or doing something special for their family, that sort of thing, right? Well, you know, it can heat affects everybody differently, you know, and of course if you're under trained or under prepared, then you, you know the, the, the risk is a little bit higher. But even sometimes for elite athletes, you know, they train very, very hard. Um, and, and sometimes if they're coming from a northern climate Maybe all their training was done in, you know, Minnesota, where maybe the temperature is still 50 degrees or something, um, and then come down here and run a warmer day. So, so I, I think that you know, each individual runner, you know, you have something uh, in your head that says, you know. It, it, you know when it, you're not feeling good, right? Um, I remember I ran the uh, Marine Corps Marathon in 2006, and it was a warm day. Started off at 60 degrees, got around the Capitol, and you could feel the temperature going up, and I just said, okay, this is not my day. Kicked it down, just jogged all the way into the finish, and I actually had a beer out there on the mall. They had some running club, had a beer station, so.